Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos. This video includes the topics covered in day 4 training session. Let's start with creating agents. Simply enter name of agent and then short name. You can also enter other details if you wish to. Now, let's look at the process of creating price list. Multiple price list is used if a flat rate is applied to all the parties. Define the name of expenses and save them. Now in define formula tab, you can generate multiple configurations. Enter the name of the configuration and define the formula. This means that sale rate will be calculated as MRP minus 20%. Next, we will discuss multiple payment methods. Firstly, we will go to main menu and expand setups menu. Click on configuration and then open sale voucher configuration. Select the sale bill series in which you wish to enable multiple mode of payment. Then go to other settings one. Tick to enable the multiple payment mode and save the configuration. Now, again expand the setup menu from main menu and click on configuration. Then open sale bill touch screen configuration. Select the sale bill series and then click on other options one. After that click on button layout configuration. Tick to enable payment mode touch screen and save the changes. We will now go to sale bill window. Here we have already transacted an item. Now click on payment option. Select the discount to be applied. The payment window will appear. Here, you can see that various payments options are given such as cash credit debit cards, UPI, etc. Let's say that the customer wants to pay cash for the items purchased, so you will select the cash option and enter the amount of cash paid by customer. After that click on pay button. Here you can see the bill amount paid is displayed along with amount to be returned to the customer. Let's look at another example. Before that go to payment details and delete the entry. Suppose customer has paid some amount through cash and rest through UPI. In that case, enter the cash amount the same way we did few moments earlier and for the rest payment, enter the UPI name and click on pay. The UPI payment is reflected here as you can see. Under payment details, you may see the multiple payment mode used. You can save the bill now. In case you want to add a new credit or debit card in the software, you will have to follow a few steps. So let's go. Firstly, go to main menu and expand the setup menu and open setup new account window. First of all, we will create a new bank account that is to be linked with the credit or debit card. Enter bank name, define the account type as bank and save it. The account that we are creating here is your own bank account in which the payment made by customer will be received. Now let's set up a new credit debit card. Go to setup menu and expand the configuration option. Click on setup credit cards. Enter credit card number, card short name, link the bank account previously created as shown in the video and click on save button. By using this option you may also set up other UPI, debit credit cards etc. Returning back to the sale bill window, transact an item and click on payment option. Here, 
you can observe that the ICICI card is being added for the payment. Enter the card number and click on Pay button. The payment has been made and received on behalf of ICICI credit card. Similarly, you may add as many cards you want. Last but not the least, let's check the sale report. Expand report and queries from main menu and click to open the account wise daily sale report item wise. This report will allow you to check and tally the payment collected daily on the basis of payment mode applied. As you can see that the item wise daily sale report is being displayed along with the payment method applied and the amount received on the behalf of various accounts. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.